Novel Audio presents Becoming Brilliant, What Science Tells Us About Raising Successful Children by Roberta Michnik Golenkoff, Ph.D., and Kathy hirsch Pasek, Ph.D. Read for you by Allison Ryan. What if? That question became the title of a comic book series Marvel published in the late 1970s and early 1980s. In this popular series, Uatu, who observed alternative realities from his lunar abode, asked questions such as, what if Spider-Man joined the Fantastic Four? Issues in the What If series turn the characters' lives upside down, killing them off in alternative realities, and sometimes having a superhero choose a life of crime. It ignored the rules the characters normally lived by and created wild worlds from a totally different angle. In this book, we invite you to play with the idea of what if as it relates to your children's learning and success. What if we could create a world in which the educational system matched what we know about how children learn? What if school actually offered programs that matched the demands of the future world that our children will inhabit? It's easy to complain about the problems of parenting and schooling. We've been there ourselves. As parents, we lived with the anxieties about our children's education in and out of school. We sweated over each math test and over the topic sentences in our fifth grader's Martin Luther King Jr. essay. Were we providing enough time at home for our kids to practice those tricky fractions? Maybe their topic sentence didn't conform to the textbook example. Would the teacher give them more opportunities to get it right? Luckily, the kids turned out okay. As scientists and during our own years of raising children and beyond, we've had a lot of time to examine what works in education. Our hope for this book is that it will help you move beyond the anxieties and get a glimpse of what really works. We show you the pockets of excellence. There are some wonderful schools and classrooms out there that we can learn from. We share the latest hype, the latest data, and the latest evidence-based practices that allow your children to reach their fullest potential, intellectually and socially, in a complex global 21st century world. What if a school could become a rainforest? We visited Friends Central School outside of Philadelphia on the day that the students in grade 2, 3, and 4 were studying the rainforest. The rainforest was everywhere. Stuffed animals climbed paper trees with broad green leaves. Rippled crepe paper on the floor represented flowing streams. We entered Indonesia in Ms. Pepino's second grade classroom and New Guinea down the hall complete with walls adorned with children's valiant attempts at primitive masks. The masks had signage, as at a museum, that highlighted a bit about the creators and the history of the places from which the masks originated. Mr. Briggs's fourth graders were using math and reading skills to build a boat that would take them on a journey to Treasure Island. The scene is rich in content learning, as information seeps through the vine-covered hallways and children use their burgeoning skills for an authentic purpose, to read written directions, make measurement calculations, and to write a paragraph about their boat-building plan. But, and this is critical, children are learning more than just their ABCs and 123s in this rainforest. Five other 21st century skills pop out of the thick foliage, skills that together with content we call the six Cs. We've identified the six C's as the key skills that will help all children become the thinkers and entrepreneurs of tomorrow. These skills will also help children become contributing members of their communities and good citizens as they forge a fulfilling personal life. Collaboration comes in the form of boat building partners who work in concert, consulting with one another to fabricate a boat that can last through a virtual trip. Communication enters through the books the children write to describe what they will find when they arrive at Treasure Island. Content includes the measurement, the geography that surrounds the forest, the science that emerges in the study of the ant-eating echidna, and the mountain weasel. Critical thinking makes the boat possible as the students gently evaluate each other's boat-building plans for stability, speed, and seaworthiness. One plan based on the directions might work, but another will surely fail. Creativity abounds as engaged students come up with novel ideas, some of which garner laughter. Should they paint the boat with green monsters to ward off evil spirits? Or put lions and tigers on flags to keep pirates away? 
Confidence oozes when students tear up plans and start over, recognizing that they had to think more about the boat's materials and what to take along. Perhaps most stunning is that every summer, the Friends School faculty rethinks how to deliver the rich content of the curriculum in a new and engaging way. They ask themselves how they can transform a traditional classroom of right-angled walls into rainforests, mountain villages, and themes like flight so that they and their students can learn the basics through the six C's. What if all students had the chance to make a rainforest at school? What if all schools could design classrooms that fostered the six C's? What if our report cards for each individual child looked at their progress as they moved through the levels of learning in each of the six C's? What if parent-teacher conferences focused on the six C's? Content, collaboration, communication, critical thinking, creativity, and confidence, in addition to how your child did on the last test. What if the report card you received gave you a fuller profile of your child's strengths and weaknesses? A report card based on the six C's captures the skill set that kids growing up in the 21st century must have for success. How does it differ from the report card of a standard straight-A student? Although we all want our children to achieve, each child is more than just his or her grades. People whose skill set is limited to content sometimes do wonderfully in school, but never seem to get anywhere on the job. When that new spot opens up at the plant, will anyone think of them for the management position? Maybe they lack the ability to collaborate. Or when their laboratory has to develop a new method, they run in the other direction, maybe due to a lack of creativity. Looking through the lens of the six C's, we get a more complete picture of our children's strengths and weaknesses.